Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to build a camp stove out of a recycled lunchbox. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said today, where I'm gonna show you how to build a portable camp stove out of a recycled lunchbox. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways and to enter, you must be a subscriber and share this video using the YouTube tools in the watch page below. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. For those of you who follow our channel regularly, you'll be looking at this like, what? What are you talking about? But, like I said, my regular viewers know we love doing DIY projects. So we, my wife actually found this recycled lunchbox for me at a garage sale. She got this for like 50 cents. They were just getting rid of it. And realistically, this thing was pretty freaking new. I mean, it, but it's what I got inspired by. It's kind of like a giant Altoids tin. And that really got my imagination sparking. I did a similar project, which was a small wood burning stove. And I thought, well, why don't we take this concept and try to combine it with something like this concept and just make some ugly, crazy beast into something really big that you could actually cook for and with an entire family. Now, some of y'all may drop down in the comments, I'm like, well, Chris, with those big, huge survival candles they have, they are pretty big. Why don't you just use one of those? Well, they're not horrible and they could potentially work, but they only have three wicks. And what I really want in a system is to have dispersed fire all over this and create a lot of heat. The thing that really sparked my attention with this thing is it's a hinge lid. So we keep this lid, lid off to the side, right? So while it's lit, what are you gonna do when you gotta put it out? Done. So we're gonna need a few tools for this project. And one of the items we're gonna need is this recycled egg carton. This came from a 60 pack of eggs. So you just take this, this was actually free because we had that as a storage container for our food. I have my pair of scissors to cut the egg carton. And then we need some wax. Now these are the particular tube ones. These are like prayer candles. You can get these at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. Or if you have a Walmart nearby, they're like a dollar, dollar fifty depending on. But a few of these should work and get the job done. Now we have our wax melt, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and pour this in. Now, it does take a lot longer to actually melt the wax than, it, than we will have time to actually mess with getting this stuff set in to get this campfire thing kind of going. So you're gonna wanna move pretty quickly. We kinda wanna see if we can evenly distribute this stuff everywhere. So we want this stuff, uh, we're going to use this kind of stuff like as the wick, but we want it spread out kind of a little bit of everywhere. And I, for, for, just for fun, I went ahead and uh, cut up a few random pieces of fatwood. So we can kind of just have some extra bits just hanging out. We could use them as uh, wicks in a, I guess, a more extreme emergency situation. Could just kind of have these poking out randomly. And we'll kind of see how this uh, all works out once we get it completely filled up. Well, boom, there we go. Now, we already did a little bit of outdoor testing footage because we wanted to prove a concept. And as you guys can see, oh my God, this thing got so freaking hot. It was amazing. But like I said, the reason why we really, really enjoy and love the concept of this kind of DIY hack with this old school recycled lunchbox we got from a yard sale is the fact that it has the hinge lid. So we run into a situation where we're gonna be grilling with this, cooking with this, using this kind of as an emergency system, or we find ourselves like in the city or in a national park or in an area where we're not allowed to have an open pit fire. This could be a really cool, fun solution. And that's where we really decided to take kind of the fun thing with the hobo stove wood burning grill that we had 
and kind of ramping up an awesome survival candle and really putting this as a powerhouse that can provide a lot of warmth if you're in a cold environment. You can use this to actually grill some food for your family. But if you have run into any safety concerns, you can literally snuff out the oxygen very, very quickly. Now, keep in mind that the metal and the tin from this kind of stuff would get extremely hot and you would have to make sure you kind of let this sit for like 30 to 45 minutes before you let it go. But it was kind of cool to be able to take a yard sale lunchbox and kind of turn it into like a camp stove grill fire pit kind of thing all in one and that was kind of cool and the grand total for this absolute thing because we got the lunch pail at a yarn sale it was only 75 cents for that it cost us four dollars for the candle wax recycled paper was free and we actually used two sticks of fatwood which is maybe 10 cents so i believe our grand total is like five dollars and 75 cents to actually build this if you have an hour on a random sunday and you run into something like this that you want to build this is a really cool diy hack for you guys to show your kids, you can go out camping with it. And it gives you an idea for a big, huge, long-term, like four to five hour emergency prep. And well, we wouldn't be drop four survival if we didn't take something that was big and try to go even bigger. So what we did is we built a much bigger one. <laughs> and this thing is enormous. Look at that. This is completely unused, but if you actually wanna see both of these, in action being field tested. Definitely make sure you check out our video on Friday where we're gonna be doing an overnight camp out and we're actually gonna be using these instead of firewood to keep us warm and cook our food, boil our water and see if these big, huge campfire kind of DIY shenanigans will actually do the trick and my theory actually works. Which I think for something this freaking massive that's like four inches thick, this thing is so huge and it's like 12 inches around. We are looking at, hopefully, depending on how hot this burns and the temperature outside and the conditions of the wind and everything, I'm hoping we can look at between five to nine hours with this thing. And that would be really cool to be able to have a viable resource to be able to use this as a cooking supplement, like on a grill for two to three days at a time. There are some campgrounds here locally in the state of Texas, if you guys don't know, a lot of the land here is private property. So you can't just go around and camping and starting fires wherever you want to. Now we know this project isn't for everybody, but we had a lot of fun doing it. And we hope he gave you guys some fun ideas for some emergency prep, some fun project that you can do with your family, your friends, and your kids. And I th and my truthful thoughts is if you actually went through your preps and you built like three or four of these and you had these in a bug in situation, if you don't have a viable source to have a wood burning stove or anything like that, if you have something like a fold out buildable grill that you can kind of pop over this, you could use this to keep warm, cook your food. The winner of yesterday's Amazon gift card giveaway is Darth Crawl. Congratulations, Darth Crawl. You're the winner. So definitely comment on the back end of our channel so we can get your contact details. Well, we definitely want to know what you think. So definitely drop your, your thoughts and your opinions and suggestions about this particular kit down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about us for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.